Have you ever thought about the power of social media? Social media has the power to make your business grow. Grow! Yeah. Why don't you let us manage your social media? Because our business is to see your business grow. Visit us at www.beastownmedia.co.za. Well, I think the most important part of the involvement of ProMaths is the energy that it has brought into the district. While the number of learners that have benefited seems small, the impact of the program extends far beyond just the schools that participated in the program. And so I think we must, mustn't underestimate the importance of the energy that it brought into the district, the kind of enthusiasm that it generated amongst learners who are not even in the program. Because the need and the cry was out there that all our learners want to participate in something like this. And so I think that that is the mastery, that is the brilliance of the Kutlanung project in the district. <laughs> The type of challenges is the environment we're staying in. It's an informal settlement, and the majority of, of, of learners having to travel to the centre. They struggle because poverty, unemployment, they are all there. And the other thing being the issue of crime. As they walk through, they got robbed calculators, they got robbed cell phones. But with cell phones, you've already agreed. Come, look guys, you know you're going to get robbed. Why come to the centre with uh, your, your, your cell phone? But I think mainly having to come when they don't have money for, it means they have to walk, they don't have money for transport. I think those are some of the challenges that I get. Okay. Firstly, if you give a child a chance, because for us they come to the center, I don't know what happens in different schools. The teachers are not the same. Also in terms of their pedagogical content knowledge, they are not the same. So when they come to the centre, you realise that at your school, which may be your school, if you are 50%, you are the highest. You come to the centre, you realise that the highest is 100%. For some, it motivates them to us to get to the 100%. For some, they say, no, 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 no this, is not, this is not the place where we are supposed to be, because it's like we are not good enough. And then we encourage them and say, no, from the start, just do your best, you will see. In the next 10 years. When I enter a hospital, the clinical manager, the surgeon, the what what, they will all be coming from Kutrano. That's one thing that I tell them. And even though sometimes they don't believe it, but now they realize that it's the truth. Because those who apply for medicine, they go there now on merit, not on because of the color of their skin. What does that thing do? It says for those that are looking at this ones, as this one succeed, so it's, you know, it's, it's some kind of a, a spillover over thing. As they succeed, so do all the others. Then they start succeeding. Then they start seeing that it's possible. Uh, I'm studying mechatronics in UCT. I chose mechatronics because like, I found out that my strength is on the side of mechanics and physics. So, and I'm also interested in robotics since mechatronics specializes in robotics. So, I decided to follow that path. Kutalong firstly helped me to understand like a bigger picture of why we should be getting those distinctions in maths. How do they, those distinctions contribute in our community and especially in our economy because they believe that if a learner can achieve a good results in maths and science, that could make a big difference in our economy, provided that the skills that we have for engineering and all other degrees that require maths, like a few in our country. So 
improving your results in math and science add a bigger value in our economy. Uh, I'm studying in UCT, I'm studying mechanical engineering. I chose mechanical engineering because I'm interested in how everyday machines work and all that. And also because that mechanical engineering is one of those scarce skills in South Africa. So I, I hope that me taking it might improve the situations that we are in. Well, when I got into high school, I didn't care much about anything. So I was always like playing around, didn't care about how my achievements or anything like that. So studying Kutlanong, I saw how other people were achieving and how they were working hard. Kutlanong is like that point in your life where you actually get to see other people's work and how they are doing. And, that, and then you decide also that you want to be like those other people. Like when we saw the, like the guy who talked here, he was the first person to achieve to be a Kutlanong top lane. And then when we saw him, he was studying at our school. When I first saw him, I was like, I want to be like that guy. Currently, I'm studying mechatronics at the University of Cape Town. The reason, I'm, the, reason I, the reason I'm studying mechatronics is the fact that in high school, I come from a technical school, so I was doing technical subjects. So I engage a lot with like engineering stuff, so I had the basics. So I wanted to like to get into the field of engineering of which I didn't, I didn't know what to choose between mechanical and electrical, so I, did, I decided to go with mechatronics since like it included both. Currently, I'm like tutoring in my school, in my previous school, yeah, helping with the learners with math and science. So with my degree, I want, I also want to like to help to, to, to help students that 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 are not involved in like in Kutlanong, so that they can obtain like better marks in math and science. So with my degree, I want to sort of like provide for those students who, who don't have much, so that they can like improve their marks. Yeah, this relationship has really benefited Kutlanong, both and Investec. Uh, we have since produced, you know, good results over years. And uh, lots of students that we have produced are now chartered accountants, they are engineers, they are medical doctors, you know, the STEM careers. We have those learners, living testimonies of those learners who are uh, now working and are happy to have been associated, you know, with the two entities. Part of what we do is this thing of, you know, curriculum that evolves over time. And we've been doing, in you know, our approach is learner support and teacher development. Uh, we've trained the educators equally so as we have supported the learners. Uh, and our training normally would take four days in a year of mathematics, four full days, and four full days of physical sciences minimum. Uh, we take them away from school uh, from 8 until 5 o'clock just to give them the intensive training on the content, on the curriculum, on the methodology. And then over and above, we have training weekly where teachers, we bring them to our centers from 3 until 5, 7 in the afternoon and we train them again, you know, on topics that are particular, you know, uh, and, uh, involved with, you know, at, the, at their respective schools, you know, at a particular time. Yeah, you see, the, 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 the important thing here is that the department must understand, the Department of Education must understand that these are their children. Much as we take few from each school, those learners, when they go back, they are our ambassadors. Now, we want the Department of Education to allow our students, by virtue of having benefited, to help other learners at their own schools because there's no way where you find a funder who will be able to fund you know a program for all the learners but we are saying as they go back to their schools the two the three the ten that we have supported they must be allowed by their teachers the teachers should not be intimidated by the knowledge that this one are coming from uh, with they must allow them to share to teach you know other learners you know peer teaching etc so that you know at the end of the day all learners can benefit from it. For more stories like these, go to www.social-tv.co.za, subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on our social mediums.